हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इंटरनेशनल एयरगो प्रोग्राम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी व्हाई इज इट इन द न्यूज द इंटरनेशनल एयरगो प्रोग्राम व्हिच ऑब्जर्व्स कार्बन कंसंट्रेशन इन द वर्ल्ड्स ओशंस इज एक्सट्रीमली इनएडिक्वेट टू मीट द ग्रोइंग एंड अर्जेंट नीड फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन ओशियनिक कार्बन Now let's discuss what is Ergo. Ergo is an international program that measures water properties across the world's ocean. It uses a fleet of robotic instruments that drift with the ocean currents and move up and down between the surface and the mid-water level. Each instrument spends almost all its life below the surface. Ergo data is made available within 24 hours to scientists around the world. The array of floats works in partnership with the Jason Earth Observing Satellites that measure the shape of the ocean surface. In the Greek epic Argonautica, Jason and his crew sail their ship the Argo through part of the Mediterranean Sea. That's why the name Argo was chosen. Now let's understand what are its aims. The data that Argo collects describes the temperature and salinity of the water. It helps understand the ocean's role in Earth's climate and so be able to make improved estimates of how it will change in the future. Argo's temperature measurements allow us to calculate how much heat is stored and to monitor from year to year how the distribution of heat changes with depth and from area to area. Now let's discuss how does it work. The Argo program maintains a global array of about 3800 floats. They measure pressure, temperature and salinity of the upper 2000 meters of the world's ocean. Each Argo float costing between $20,000 and $150,000 depending on the individual float's technical specification is launched from a ship. The float's weight is carefully adjusted so that as it sinks it eventually stabilizes at a preset level usually 1 km. 10 days later an internal battery driven pump transfers oil between a reservoir inside the float and an external bladder. This makes the float first descend to 2 km and then return to the surface measuring ocean properties as it rises. The data and the float position are related to satellites and then on to receiving stations on shore. The float then sinks again to repeat the 10 day cycle until its batteries are exhausted. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding the International Ergo program. 1. It uses a fleet of robotic instruments that drift with the ocean currents and move up and down between the surface and a mid water level. 2. Ergo data is made available within 24 hours to scientists around the world. Which of the above mentioned statement or statements is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Drishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.